Hello gardening friends! I'm Caitlin Miller and I'm from Miller Flowers here in Greenville, Ohio. We are a greenhouse, garden center, and florist. Today I'm coming to you live on a snowy day in Ohio to chat about houseplants, to brighten up your day a little with lots of green. One of the questions that we get a lot is how do I take care of my houseplants during the winter? Well that is a great question and we're going to talk about that and more today about how to take care of your houseplants during the winter. So while I was researching information for my winter houseplant care that I'm about to tell you, I came across several articles that said that your houseplants will go dormant during the winter. And I just wanna say that your houseplants are still actively growing just as they were during the spring, summer, and fall. They just grow a lot slower during the winter than they do during the spring, summer, and fall. Moss plants are still actively growing. You want to still take care of them, still water, still fertilize, and do all the necessary things to keep those plants growing nice and strong even during the winter time. So first things first, let's talk about water and fertilizing. Fertilizing is a huge thing. I asked our question on our polls on our Instagram and a lot of you asked questions about fertilizing. So we're gonna address that today. Thing is, a lot of people ask the question, I didn't know you could fertilize during the win winter. I always thought we shouldn't fertilize. The answer to that question is, if your houseplant is still actively growing, you want to be fertilizing. So we would recommend these fertilizers for your houseplants. This is Monty's Plant Vantage Fertilizer. It's about a teaspoon for two gallons of water and it's liquid. This is a great houseplant fertilizer. We also have Jack's All-Purpose Fertilizer. They also have a Jack's Houseplant Fertilizer, which we have sold both, or we sell both during the springtime. This one, all purpose, Jack's All-Purpose Fertilizer is what we're carrying right now, but it's for indoor and outdoor plants. We recommend this so much out here at Miller Flowers because it is, we have so much success with Jack's All-Purpose Fertilizer. So you're not gonna be fertilizing it every two weeks like you would during the spring, summer, and fall during those warm months. But you're gonna be still fertilizing, but less. Next up is light. So during the winter months, we have a lot less light than we do daylight than we do during the summertime. And so with those less light hours, you wanna make sure that your house plants are still getting plenty of light streaming in your windows into your house. So if you have succulents, during the winter especially, succulents tend to start um, going towards the light and getting really straggly. So you wanna make sure that your succulents are getting plenty of sunlight so that they can stay nice and full. You can also spin around your succulents several times throughout the week so that they can grow straight up nice, nice and tall instead of growing straggly off to a side. Next step is humidity. So you know, if you think about where all of the house plants originated. So a lot of the house plants originate from rainforest, exotic tropical areas like South America or tropical Florida. So these house plants are used to lots of moisture and humidity um, to thrive in. And so they go into our homes and especially during the winter time, when if your house is like our house, our house is a, we have a wood stove or a wood pellet stove. And so that dries things out a lot. And plus it's winter time, just feel my skin. It is dry. So you wanna make sure again that you're watering consistently. So I would water once to twice a, a week. Um, you can also check the bottom of your soil. And if your soil is dry to the touch, that means it needs to be watered. Along with humidity, let's chat about that. We talked about the rainforest and how they're humid, how they have a lot of moisture. You wanna make sure that your plants are getting plenty of humidity. We always recommend pulling your house plants into, um, where you into the bathroom while you take a shower and that hot moisture from the shower will be great humidity for your plants. You can also create a pebble tray. So this right here is a pebble tray. Um, you can get a saucer like this right here, fill it full of pebbles or stones, and then you can pour water onto this tray. And that also creates moisture for your plants. You can sit your plants then right down in the center of that tray and that creates um, humidity as well. 
We also sell these really cool spritzers. So these spritzers are also um, look great in your house as decoration, um, but not only that, they work well for humidity. So you can fill it up and then spritz your plants often to create that humid environment. So the next step after humidity, we're going to chat about care. So you need to keep up the care and the maintenance like you would during the spring, summer, and fall. Continue to take off those yellow leaves off of your plants, especially sometimes your fiddle figs can get the yellow leaf. Continue to take off those leaves. It's also dusting your leaves. So you can take your fiddle figs, and we will actually do this with a wet rag, is wipe off our fiddle fig leaves, or even all houseplant leaves, periodically. So a lot of plants um, breathe through their leaves. So by wiping away the excess um, dust from their leaves that's opening up their pores to breathe. So you could also stick your plants underneath a cool shower and let that shower come down and um, wash the leaves as well. Also in care you want to make sure that you're watching for bugs. So this time of year with dark days it's prone to get mealybug spider mites. We do sell an end all insect killer. This is great for indoor house plant and this is recommended to use on your house plants as well. At least our houses during the winter time can get a little drafty. If your house is like our house, it's an old house, so there's plenty of drafts, cold drafts. So you want to make sure that your house plants are out of the way of those drafts and in a warm area. So that is a few of my house plant tips on taking care of your house plants during the winter time here in Ohio. Joining us today on this snowy day and I hope you enjoyed our video on winter care for houseplants. Thanks for watching. Remember to drop us a like, subscribe to our channel, and even drop us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful and blessed day and happy plant parenting.